I'm curious as to what brought you here. I've heard so many stories, but please, forgive my fascination. I, I seldom get to meet a legend. Right, the money. It's not even ten feet from you. Enough to set you for life, perhaps. No tricks? Look past the bar door. There's a tidy stack of bullion. The Enclave had impressive printing abilities, I must admit. Patience. I know you're not that brash, otherwise you'd come in lobbing grenades. You're smarter than that. I'm not afraid to die, Courier. I respect God, but I don't count on his help. I know my end, and I'm at peace with it. The real question is whether or not you realize where you're headed. It doesn't matter how many bad asses you kill, how tough you think you are. One day, you'll make a mistake. Be negligent, or just get old. I like reading old books, pre-war stuff. Ever heard of Bill Hickok? Killed all sorts of people in his day. You know how he died? It wasn't some grand duel in the street, an epic showdown with a worthy opponent. Some dreg, a bottom-feeding asshole, just walked into a saloon and popped Hickok in the back of the head. Payback for killing his brother. If you're lucky, Courier, you'll die here, with a sword in your hand, killed by a proper foe. You might get old, die in your bed. But more than likely, some punk will wait till you're drunk, high, or just distracted, and then they'll strike. A warrior's death is the best you can hope for. And I'm offering it. You have exceeded my expectations. I'll store your weapons in a nearby locker. I've got the key on my person in the off chance that you best me. You'll be using this katana. Let's go somewhere with a little more room. <laughs> then by all means, let the bleeding begin. You know what would happen to me? My employer would kill my entire family, if I had one. This thing, it's all I've got. I don't have anyone. Maybe I do need to start over. Turn away from it. I can't go back to Reno. Maybe I'll go south. Here, take this. I won't need it where I'm going. Sayonara, courier. You are really persistent with that facade, aren't you? You know it's nothing special. A, a base coward can silently scowl. You are truly a disappointment. Here I was, ready to hold a lengthy conversation with the legendary Courier Six. I even had the boys clean up this place, thinking you might show up. And here you are, and you can't even summon a response. Funny how rumors depart from reality. I had heard you were a locutious sort. A convenient lie. You'll just have to be content listening to me. I'm new to the Mojave, so I've made it a priority to familiarize myself with the history, politics, the players. And somehow, your name keeps coming up. I've been wanting to meet you for some time, really. It's another reason I didn't gas you in that vault. It would have been unseemly. I knew that cowing you would be a challenge. Odds were that you would show up here. I was looking forward to this. 
a worthy opponent. An opportunity to make my own name while letting you pass with dignity. Who would cross the man who killed Courier 6? has a ring to it, like one of those pre-war western films. So, the mythical courier is an imbecile. I've got to start lowering my expectations. You see, my employer has rewarded my service to the organization. I've done well. It's interesting what people do with wealth. Some invest. Others blow it on booze, pussy, passing pleasure. Me, I buy implants. Not comfortable going in, but so good once they're settled. One of my implants regulates cardiovascular performance, and it's been tweaked for a specific purpose. When I have it activated, it can operate as sort of a fail-deadly switch, connected to explosives and whatnot. Incidentally, I have the loot surrounded by high explosives. If I die, my implant will trigger enough C4 to bury every lick of gold in there. Now, maybe you don't care about the gold, and that's fine. But if you do, then listen closely. I will turn off my implant signal if you agree to fight me on my terms with a katana. If you win, then you get the gold. Otherwise, nothing. Cocksucker!